Hi there, Aries. So we're looking at your um, August 2024, we're looking at blessings, money, career, and love. And in order to save time, I have pre-shuffled the four categories I'm going to be looking at. Blessings, money, career, love. I pulled out four oracle cards that represents each one. And I'm going to look at each one individually, okay? So let me get started, okay, with the blessings. And I'm seeing the high lady of love and compassion. And we're just going to ease over that way a little bit so you can see that, okay? So what is this blessing? What is the high lady of love and compassion? What is the blessing that's coming in? Because I'm seeing reverence, kindness, consideration. What is this blessing? Okay, we got the world. Okay, so the world typically indicates something successful happening. Okay, because the world is about completion. Um, it's about um, endings after a period of struggle, after a while. Okay, um, everything works out just fine for you. So this blessing could be that things are working out just fine for you especially in the area of money um, or business. Um, I'm feeling like the world indicates like expansion in business, um, opportunities coming in, increasing your money, things like that. So the world with the High Lady of Lord of Compassion, though, could indicate that there is someone who is beneficial to you that may come in and help you along and give you this assistance Someone may offer you a gift of money. Someone may give you like um, advice or information to help grow your business. And I feel like if you are a business owner, you are definitely going to be doing really, really well um, for your business in the month of August. Let's get some more information. Clarify that world. Blessing. Okay, we've got the page of wands on that blessing. And the page of wands is um, a Sagittarius. So the person... Or a fire sign, the person who comes in to help you along could be a, a page of wands. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, it could indicate uh, like a, a partner who is a Sagittarius who comes in and offers assistance or with your business, as I'm seeing there. Um, it could be business, like people giving you, uh, how do you say, uh, referring you, word of mouth. Um, bringing customers in for you, okay? Um, something that attracts more people to your business. Um, I'm getting very strong vibes for like a business owner here, okay? But if you're not a business owner, this could just mean someone's really, really kind to you and considerate to you and they offer to help you and you get a lot of support this month, even in terms of finances, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for blessings. So let's move on to your money, okay? And I'm just gonna put these right here under each other, like so, okay? And we're gonna move on to money for you, okay? So the Sun Dancers indicates your money. Joyful activities, celebration of life, abundance. That's a very, very, very good money card. And as I read in your blessing section, money is very good for you. There's just some money comes in from some unexpected place. Someone gives it to you, your business, something something happens, okay? So your money is really good. And I got the 32, which indicates like that's number five when you reduce it. Five is, yeah, it indicates change, okay? But it's for me, it looks like positive change when it comes to your money because the five is also an indication of stability, right? A balance because you've got 10 and in the middle, you know, you've kind of got that's the halfway point. That's the five. So that's a balance. So I'm feeling like your money is very balanced in the month of August, but let's get some the cards to clarify that. Tell me more about Aries money in the month of August. What's coming up for Aries? Sun dancers. Yep, yeah, see. I shuffled and this came out. The higher font. The higher font indicates financial stability. You you have your money's good, your money's stable. Okay. Um, you're living your life, you're happy with the amount of money you have. The sun is in your financial house in the month of August. Please give me more information on that higher font. Clarify that, please. Right, there you go. A gift of money, okay? Money is coming in. I'm hearing like a financial reprieve, okay? So let me see if I can get any more clarity on that. But it's just, it, your money looks amazing for the month of August. Um, money is coming to you. Um, you're not going to have any problems. It just looks very, 
stable. That's the word that wants to keep coming out of a mouth. You have your money is very stable. Okay. Um, if you're owed money and you're a business owner, you're going to be collecting on that money. Um, if you're a business owner, people are going to be coming to you wanting to buy whatever it is you have for sale. Um, if you're not a business owner, still money is going to be given to you for something. Um, it could be given to you because with the higher font there, which indicates knowledge and education because you are doing some work related to knowledge and education or because you're doing some work related to like guidance and mentorship or religious activity or because you're doing some work related to tradition like banking, the banking industry, right? Something like that. But your money is very good, um, whatever it is you're doing. Um, let's see, what else am I picking up here about your money? Uh, the higher font with the Ace of Coins is just a very, very good card for finances. Um, this could also indicate if you're investing in anything, right? Your profits are getting better. They're going up, right? Your money could be going up. Your stocks, your portfolio could be increasing. Um, I'm just feeling like get moving higher and higher because I'm seeing that joyful activity celebration and she's flying like high up. So your money is rising up in the month of August. So money is really good. Okay. So no worries there for you Aries with your money. All right, let's move on now to career. And I'm seeing the sisters of the season, cycles of growth, natural law, divine order. Hmm. This is your career. This may be time for something to happen for you. Let's talk about cycles of growth. There might be a cycle of growth in your career, right? It might be your season or your time for this to happen, okay? Let's see, clarify. Tell me more about what's coming up for Aries in the month of August in their career. What is Sisters of the Season saying? Give me the answer clearly so I can interpret it. What is Sisters of the Season saying is happening for Aries career? We've got the hangman, okay? So the hangman could indicate a change of perspective. The hangman in career could indicate something that you're waiting on. It could also indicate anxiety about a particular thing, a position. Um, frustration, it could also indicate. So maybe some of you are at your job and you are mighty frustrated with the way things are going. There might be people at your job that are frustrating you because there's a bunch of women on that card. Not to say that, you know, there are women at your job frustrating you. It just indicates people, personalities. Um, let's see. Or those could be your, like, um, your friends. Like, when you get frustrated at your job, you these are the people you go hang out with and they make you feel better. They make you feel cool. So, um, let me see. I'm going to clarify that card just a little bit. Okay, because career overall, if you're not, if you're working for yourself, it seems great. You know, clients, you have more clients coming in, as I mentioned before, because that's an eight, right? You've got financial increase. Um, you're making more money. Um, you just, maybe you're a little worried about sisters of the season. The season is a future. Like maybe you're worried about the future worried about how things will happen, like how things will turn out year after year. Maybe you're you're fearing, okay, well, you know, this season is good or this year is good or this month is good, but what about next month? Will I be able to sustain myself, you know, in this business or in, you know, whatever your career is that you're doing, okay? Let's see, optimally. Clarify that hangman. What is it saying about Aries' career? All right, and this is, I want to show it to you guys, the Six of Swords. Six of Swords could indicate moving on to something else. You may be looking to wrap up what you're doing because maybe you feel like it's not benefiting you or maybe you should get go leave while the going's good. Or what is it saying? Get, get going while the getting's good? Something like that, right? Maybe you're like, okay, well, I'm doing really well now. Let's take this money that I'm making and see if I can grow it some more or scale or go do something else or put it into something else. Um... So that's kind of what I'm feeling in terms of career. I mean, you're doing really well. Your money is good. You know, if you're working and you're employed, you may not appreciate everybody around you, but I feel like you have friends who support you and you just leave work and you go hang out with them and everything is good. Um, if it's a business, 
you're doing well, but you're just worried that maybe, mm, you know, later, what will happen later? Is it going to keep going like this? You're a little bit fearful, right? Um, so I feel like, especially when you have the run-ins at work, especially when you're, there are people who are combative or you have customers or clients who are combative, that doesn't always feel good to you, even though you know you're doing well. It's just, if you're employed, you want some place that's a little bit more leisurely or relaxing or less, less competitive. Um, you, you, you just, you're tired of like uh, how tense you feel, okay? Whether this is work or a, um, a business. You, I think you want to move on to something that's a little bit more relaxing. You see how those sisters are just like chilling in the tree? Like one of them's like in the clouds and the other one's playing the piccolo. And I think you want something like that. I mean, ultimately a more relaxing environment for work or a business that's a little less stressful, I think, you know, even though you're doing very, very well. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for you for August. All right. So let's move on to where are we now? This is career. We're love. Okay. That's the last one. Lady of the gifts, generosity, receiving, withholding. Hmm. Okay. So the person who is giving you money could be a, a lover or someone you're involved with. Okay. Because the high lady of love and compassion and the lady of the gift, they kind of look alike, right? They've got this um, white ish hair and it just looks like a lover is being very generous with you. Okay. Kind and considerate. It says it right on the card. Um, and then there's a two, which makes me think of two people, the two of cups love. All right. So let's see what more I can pull here for you. Let's clarify that. Tell me more about love. What's coming up in love? What's the lady of the gifts say will be so in love for my Aries in the month of August? Give me the answer clearly, please. Five of one. Oh, that's a lot of passion and love and sex and um yeah let's, let's clarify that okay yeah over here i'm already looking over there dragon's duel that's a very sexual card yep that's having lots of sexy sexy passionate you know that <laughs> um yeah that's what i'm seeing there in terms of your love life let's clarify that five of wands mm. <laughs> I'm getting a song in my head, but I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's for some of you, right? You're, you're having a lot of fun. You're, you're very open, you know, um, with your dates. Um, you're just having fun right now. You know, you're out there and your lovers are very generous to you or your lover, you know, depending on who you are. Let's see. Clarify that. Part. Okay. It just jumped out. All right. Some of you are with the seven of coins worried about a past lover. Some of you could still be obsessing over a lover who you have broken up with or I don't know if it's for good, but, you know, still thinking about that person, still obsessing over someone that you really liked or loved or cared about. Let's see. Some of you are wondering if you'll get back together. Some of you are wondering if you're going to be in this position forever, not finding the kind of person you want. Um, some of you are spending some time alone just to forgive and learn or to heal from a past relationship. Some of you, I'm hearing, feel abandoned by a person who you are you were with. Um yeah, and then some of you are just kind of waiting like, you know, is this it? Every time I I try, it just doesn't work. You're a little disappointed with, you know, love life. Um, you're not sure if you're going to find the right person. To, it, it sees, it, this person here is crying over it. Like, God, I'm never going to find the right person. And then over there, sad about just kind of reflecting on previous relationships and, you know, how they did not quite match up to what you wanted um so while some of you are out there doing the do i feel like the majority of you are gonna be you know kind of putting love on hold and trying to get over someone or heal internally from um whatever it is 
that happened to you before. You are definitely hoping to attract love, though. I do feel like that is the case. Um, but Five of Cups just fell out. So, and it's reversed. So I want to say you are or you were sad, but you're trying to get over that sadness so you can make your way back out. Um, let's see. You want commitment. You, you want someone who's going to be committed to you. Um, some of you have blocked a lover um, who has been sneaky. I feel like sneaky energy, you know, who wasn't faithful linking up with other people while they were with you. You're not really sure you can trust them um, because what you want is a happy family life. You're, you dream about it. Um, I feel like <clears throat> you dream about the things that you want. Sometimes I think you even reminisce about there's a lover that you really thought things were going to work well with and you really still have feelings for them. So you, you think about them um, when you're alone in secret, I feel like, um, but it, it, or how it didn't work out or it didn't work well um, and how you had to disconnect. So I'm feeling like for, right now your, your heart's pretty guarded. Um, you do a lot of things by yourself. You might be at home, like, you know, just trying to, um, how do you say, trying to pass time, heal, you know, by cooking, watching television, you could be picking up new hobbies to try to get out of, you know, thinking about love for right now. You could be putting your all into work or your hobbies um, to keep you from really worrying about the past or, you know, um, those kinds of things. I feel like the person you were with last is or was um, wasn't exactly giving to you the way you wanted them to give to you. They they feel a little sneaky here, okay? Um, feel like they were getting a lot of messages from other people or while you were messaging them, they were off doing sneaky things, you know, things like that. And so you just decided to walk away from it because this person really broke your heart. So now you are by yourself, alone, spending some time at home, doing things that you love, right? Hoping loving on yourself, I feel like, and, and hoping to find that one person who will really connect with you and who will really take care of you, okay? And that's what I'm seeing um, for right now in the month of August. So I'm going to stop right there, um, Aries. I wasn't trying to make these readings too long, but, you know, I got to get out what I got to get out. I <laughs> got to Gotta make make it make sense and make sure you know you, you get a good message. So, and that's what I'm seeing for you overall. And I'm going to move on to the next sign, which is Taurus.